Good morning and welcome to Grenada. Today we're going to be flying the PMG TG 737-800 from Grenada, Maurice Bishop uh, Point Salinas Airport in Grenada to Princess Juliana Airport in St. Martin, the Dutch part of St. Martin and we'll be flying as KLM 117. So there's no ATC coverage currently available at, at this airport, but I do see San Juan Center, uh, which covers uh, Princess Juliana also sometimes. So that's active. I don't know whether he'll log off or not, uh, the, uh, the ATC controller, by the time we reach there. Uh, the airtime is 1 hour 10 minutes, and we have a lot of preparation to do, j as always in the 737 next generation <laughs> there's a lot of hard work to do before you get in the air so without further ado into the cockpit first things first i need air stairs here or not not air stairs just stairs so into the fmc ground services yes we need the gpu and over here we can toggle between jetways and stairs so let's request some PMDG ground handling and yeah so coming to the electronic flight black flight bag sorry we have request data from sim brief so we have this KLM-117, alternate San Juan, they've got the average wind also, cost index 45, I wanted a high cost index, this might, this, uh, I'm sure it's not uh, done in real life, but uh, I, I'm, I don't think KLM would fly with such a high cost index, uh, well if you do know uh, about such a route of flight in which they use a high cost index, l do let me know, but I doubt it, so aircraft registration we've got that we've got the route and we've got the zero fuel weight and route distance is 431 nautical miles now we've got the data imported from SimBrief and the next thing to do instead of doing all the hard work well first we need to turn on the power thrust levers idle they're idle speed brake is retracted and chocks should be in place no sorry chocks should be in place this set battery on so up here just flip the guard switch and it turns on the battery hydraulic pump off hydraulic pumps are off electrical hydraulic pumps are off landing gear down they're down three greens and three greens and ground power on also external lights to steady position if dark outside it's not dark outside so we'll skip that part and now for the fire tests over to the pedestal yes no yeah just move it back a bit so we have the fault in up Have a look at that. Cancel that. We have the fire test. <coughs> then we have the extinguisher test. One. 
and two sorry no the other way around two after that emergency exit lights armed do that and we get and we also have the front forward entry door open because we have the air stairs connected by now not the air stairs sorry still using the same terminology from the BAE 146 and right cabin attendant call I wish they would uh, uh, add some cabin announcements just like in the flyby wire just a quality of life improvement but it's okay take off configuration warning check so advanced throttles good checked cargo fire system test Cargo fire system tested, gear pins, check them whether they're in or not. Oh, uh -huh. control four, gear pins on, alternate gear extension door closed. All that is done. Master caution panel checked, flight recorder switch. Test, uh, test, and then normal. Right, Mac air speed warning. And number two. Stall warning test one and two. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Ah, huh? why? Is that a bug? Oh well, doesn't matter. Engine panel check. ECC checked and guarded. Passenger oxygen seems to be providing some oxygen. Crew oxygen. Passenger oxygen normal and guarded. Crew oxygen check. Service interphone off. IRSs to nav. Sorry, nav. IRS lights check align. Done. Parking brake will turn on. So if you've got the realistic parking brake setting in your FMC you have to first press the brake pedals depress them and then turn on the parking brake otherwise it doesn't turn on or engage and now we can turn on the hydraulic pumps good now with the fuel cargo and passenger setup let's have a look at the operational flight plan the load sheet is over here 150 passengers cargo 3.6 tons payload is 16.5 zero fuel weight 58.8 fuel 7.4 takeoff weight 65.9 so the easiest way to do this is to go into the menu, sorry, init FMC, 737-800, engine rating 26K, the ARAC data is active till the 21st of March 2024, <coughs> so let me just do the pause in it. Reference airport is Tango, Golf, Papa, 
Yankee and we can take the left GPS coordinates put it here right now for the route uh, flight plan request sim brief I just filed this flight plan on VATSIM also set payload set fuel and select route and route request clear those messages load take some time and then you can have a look at the route it's not a very long route to airways and direct to PPR or Papa Papa Romeo <coughs> sorry activate <coughs> sorry about that so we've got the route activated and just to have a look at the payload fifty eight point eight matches fuel seven point four tons so this has something to do with the fuel density also sometimes right so passengers loaded fuel loaded and we can and the route has been activated I think we can let the stairs remove the stairs there we go door closes and uh, the stairs will drive away right now for the SMC data init request done route done let's have a look at the legs departure runway one zero there are no SIDs and there are no charts for the SIDs on this airport execute and let me just load up my charts navigraph charts so I'll stop the recording here so here is the map on the uh, electronic flight bag flight bag we're on gate number three we only have we have no depart departure procedures so there's no charts and I've got the airport chart we'll be taking off from runway one zero uh, pushing back if the pushback works correctly this time <laughs> on to taxiway well we'll use alpha over here or is there another taxiway here no actually we won't use alpha we'll use this taxiway here and backtrack let me turn off the lock to runway one zero and then take off so that's all for the departure briefing and does the chart say anything else I'll maximize it airport elevation oh that's the f that's the wrong chart <laughs> I wanted this this one sorry so no I've got the same charts I've been the same charts search arrival airport
departure. No wonder. And now if I look at the airports. Right. Right, we've got some threats here. Runway 10, right hand traffic. Must use the turning bay. Okay. Runway 10. Okay, you got that. Right. So let's get the performance APU running and performance calculations APU running and let's get on with it. So I've selected the departure runway and now for the arrival runway RNAV 10 as always. Elopo transition because our last waypoint is Elopo that's where we're coming from. No stars needed. Execute. And uh, routes have been activated. Legs. Okay. There are less waypoints, but the route is quite long. Performance setup. Let's go to init ref performance. So cost index is 45. Let's just go to the electronic flight bag. Flight bag. Tango Golf Papa Romeo, Point Salinas International, runway ID 10. Right, import from aircraft. Optimum, optimum, anti ice off. Wait, CG, packs on. Import weather. Do we have live weather? We're not on live time, but we do have live weather. Right, calculate. Acceleration height is 1500 AGL. That's the height, not the altitude. Flaps 5 and 193.24. Rating takeoff. Select temperature 52. Trim is 4.63. 4.63 let me note that down select temperature 52 V1 140 VR 142 V2 146 also if we go back to the electronic flight bag and look at the ISA deviation and top of climb winds which we'll need 264.029 264.029 let me note that down 029 ISA deviation 14 degrees centigrade Outside air temperature minus 31. No, here, 15 degrees centigrade and minus 30. Note that down also. We'll need that for the descent, the ISA deviation. And that's it. And now for the FMC cost index 45 reserves I forgot that back to the OFP reserves fin res plus alternate 3.1 3.2 so let's do it round it up to 3.3 .3. add an extra 100 kgs 7.4 is full and reserves are 3.3 3.3 3 .3 0 fuel weight, click on this done 
flight level 300 cruise winds 264 slash 029 outside air temperature minus 30 transition altitude 4000 and activate execute and one limit 52 according to the OFP rating is takeoff it's not exactly the same flaps 5 CG matches 4.63 is 4.63 25.5 V1 is 140, 142, 146. Done. And acceleration, AGL, reduction, AGL. Oh. I don't know about the noise abatement procedures on this airport. So that's done. And now we can look at the MCP. Uh, before that, test with the lights test. right back to bright uh, light switch check light switch bright oxygen test proceed here done if a setup 10 miles traffic terrain radar airport and that's it for the EFA setup barrow set HPA hectopascals departure weather winds 11 knots headwind 1013 so 1013 set clock checked it's 1329 that's a UTC or the Zulu time flight control ok overhead panel check flight controls and standby hydraulic guarded no, s no lights no lights your damper on navigation all normal displays auto and normal valve flight check on battery guarded galley on here's the galley where's the galley switch Oh. Um, power switches guarded, bus transfer guarded, wiper left right, parking, park, panel lights brightness as required. Okay. And equipment cooling normal. There's the equipment cooling part. Hmm. Let me know in the comments where the galley switch is. I usually, I don't know what's. So galley switch is somewhere. Equipment cooling normal. There it is. Seat belt signs can come on. No smoking on. Alright. If refuel over, seat belt signs on, done, done, done. Window heat on.
and pro beat as required not required right now after engine start anti ice of hydraulic pumps on on differential pressure check it's cabin altitude check oh is that the cabin altitude I never f actually found out how to read these gauges if somebody has a link to a uh, somebody knows about a good tutorial on how to read the pressure gauge do let me know in the comments air temperature up here sorry passenger cabin forward passenger cabin air temperature passenger cabin and temperature selectors as required recirculation file fan auto packs auto left right back auto isolation valve open uh, engine bleed both on APU off then AP bleed should be off let's turn on the APU here it goes running up let me go back to the drone camera good enough flight altitude cruise altitude 30,000 feet landing altitude is zero because it's the elevation at Princess Juliana is 14 feet we'll keep that at zero oh yeah, anti collision light should have been turned on engine switches off igniter as required MCP setup so IAS V2 146 146 departure and we're heading 105 on the bank angle 105 right we'll use an initial climb altitude of 7,000, 4,100 feet and APU should have been, APU generators on oh I forgot this, this should have been turned on got the APU on, APU bleed on Right, ground power can be disconnected now. Menu, FS actions, ground services, release the ground power. MCP setup, fuel flow reset. Auto brake RTO, flight directors on. Speed brake retracted, flaps up, thrust idle, parking brake set, set, engine fuel switches off, stabilizer trim up and guarded, over overheat detector normal, over here, overheat detector normal. and cargo fire detectors normal weather radar are we supposed to turn on the weather radar here right now oh i don't know the squawk 2000 
set to alt off in preparation for the pushback nav rad setup audio switches adf setup cargo fire detector normal transponder standby standby trim check trim 4.63 so done. Trim check third radio asset data stabilizer trim guarded flight deck door auto flight deck door where is it auto performance initialization done N1 limit is active and N1 limit set. Take off set. Trim set. And MCBIS set V2. IFR clearance not needed because there's no ATC. Right. And. Uh, Let's start the pre-flight. Oxygen tested. Navigation transfer and display switches normal and auto. Window heat on. Pressurization mode selector auto. Flight instruments heading ultimate parking brake set. Engine start levers cut off. Pushback truck call. Now let's see if this version of the Aerosoft pushback works or not. Just here and here. Right. Let me make a radio call before I do that. I did not set the comm radios, should be monitoring Unicom. One 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 two two decimal eight. Done. Time to push back and I'll make a radio call. Point Salinas traffic, KLM 117, pushing back at stand 8, uh, stand 3, sorry, Point Salinas traffic. Alright, backs off. AP bleed on, anti-collision light on, and before ch start checklist call, flight deck door closed, no lights here, fuel, all pumps on, do we have any extra in the center tank, no, uh, windows locked, passenger signs set, takeoff speeds done. CDU for the pre flight completed. Radar, radar and our alarm trim zero zero. And MCP done. Okay, uh, uh, taxi and takeoff briefing completed. Anti collision light on. Push back. Proceed with the push back. So this time there are no voiceovers, surprising. Let it at least connect. Why should I release the parking brake before? KLM doesn't usually fly from this airport, as far as I know. Caribbean Airlines do, but I thought because we're going to Princess Juliana, might as well go in a KLM plane. So is it going to lift up the aircraft? No, still not perfected. Okay. 
Let's release the parking brake. Here we go. Clear uh, clear the gate area. Before I start the engines, I just want to see how this pushback works this time. That's not perfect. Look at that. Look at that. It's like not twisting or turning. Fine. It's otherwise it's fine. They still need to improve it. Aerosoft. <coughs> Number two, ground. And two, sorry, and two, twenty five per cent. And one, EGT. Is it ever going to stop the pushback? Engine two stabilized and and one uh, sorry engine one. Starts which is continuous. Probe heat on. Anti ice as required, not required. Left, right, backs, auto. Isolation valve, auto. AP bleed off. Flaps to take off position. Taxi checklist call. Generators on, probe heat on, anti ice as required, isolation valve auto, 
engine starts which is continuous recall checked auto brake RTO engine starts which is levers idle detent flight controls check them And what else? Taxi clearance request, uh, runway turn of light on, taxi light on, parking brake release, takeoff configuration checked. Okay. Taxi lights on. Release the parking brake by depressing the rudder pedals. Point Salinas traffic, KLM 117, uh, backtracking on runway 10. Point Salinas traffic. So, take off and fear shit. No warnings. And we're taxiing. I have to look down at my checklist every now and then. Just twenty nine per cent and one will do. Nice airport. Look at the windsock, winds are perfect, headwinds slightly at an angle. Entering the runway, strobe lights can go on. Oops, sorry. And let's backtrack. Set L nav to on. setting select for now. In the meantime, we can turn on the landing lights. Just click on the bar. When it changes to this, the pointed hand. Taxi lights off. Run return light lights on. on, tire landing lights on, auto throttle armed, L nav won't turn on, we'll be taking the runway heading, transponder to Tara, take off clearance request, transponder to Tara, I should have been at all off, but I've got Tara. Thrust levers to idle, S slow down to 10 knots. Slight braking. the PMDG doesn't turn very tight. Maybe that's realistic or something. The Zebo mod in X-Plane 11 used to turn on a dime. There we go. Line up a bit. That 
Leute. Look, I'll stop here. Let me have a look at my departure time on the sim brief. It's 200, our departure time will be 10 minutes late for the departure. And right. Take off clearance received. Let's just imagine. Taxi lights on. Chrono on. And anything else? Thrust levers to 40% and 1. Stabilized and uh, Doga. Start switches to off.
landing lights to off. Logo lights not ever, never turned on. Release the passengers. Thirty thousand feet reached, top of climb achieved, and yeah, the bank angle can go to ten. And now it's. Uh, Lights to steady. And let's prepare the arrival charts. How much longer do I have till the top of descent? Quite some time. So in the FMC, descent page 14390. 177 nautical miles till the top of descent. Okay. Uh, but just for the sake of just to give a departure briefing now, sorry, arrival briefing, let's so head over to the charts. Southeast, going to Yumana, the init initial approach fix, and by that point we should be at 2600 feet. Then Awaki, initial fix, 
Okay, that's the initial approach fix for the transition. That's the initial approach fix, I think, for the approach. And then to Lessor, Maypon is a missed approach point. Missed approach procedure, climb right, turn to 4000, direct to on bed. On bed is somewhere over here, it's a holding point. And hold as directed by the ATC. Transition level for 6500, 1000 feet. Okay. LNAV minimum 700 feet. And at Lessor, we should be at 1700 feet. Final approach goes 96 degrees. 096 degrees. Avaki, Lessor, Maple. That's when we disconnect the autopilot, recycle the flight directors, and also I think I should be able, I should disconnect the auto throttle too. Right. We have only LNAV minimums here, so we'll add a 40 to the 700, so that will be. Uh, decision height of 740 feet. Okay, that's for the hold. Let's have a look at the FMC. Legs page. Elopo, Mana, Avaki, and then it should be Lessor. Then Mapen. And the glide slope or the glide path, glide path is 2.85 degrees. Is it mentioned in the? Is it mentioned in the chart? That says three degrees. The center angle. That's not matching with my FMC. Three 2.85, and that's. Three degrees. I don't get it. Progress page number four. No, won't allow. RNP 0.3 nautical miles. RNP 2.00 actual is 0. 0.6 nautical miles. That's for the PPR, not for the approach, is it? at these non-precision approaches. Uh, right now it's 14.18 and we should be at the top of descent in 22 minutes. So let's get the forecast. Rest winds. Takes some time. Forecast winds done. ISA deviation 14. Okay. Q and H. Have a look. It might change. The Q and H is very important because the V nav R nav, sorry, the non-precision approach requires the 
correct view and edge to be set. Let me see if San Juan Center is still online. Oh, we have it is. Let's tune into the ATIS one two seven six five zero. Five zero and one one zero. Visibility one zero kilometers or more. View clouds at 1,600, 3,500 hectares. Temperature 2.6, 2.23. Altimeter 1018. Landing and departing runway 10. Area navigation and visual approach in use. VFR aircraft stay direction of flight. Advise on initial contact. You have information delta. Princess Juliana Intersection Airport A tip information Delta 0200 zero two zero zero Zulu. Wet zero six zero at one zero. Wet variable between zero five zero and one one zero. Visibility one zero kilometers or more. View clouds at one thousand six hundred. Three thousand five hundred hectares. Temperature two six. Two point two three. Altimeter one zero one eight. Landing and departing runway 10. Area navigation and visual approach in use. VFR aircraft stay direction of flight. Advise on initial contact. You have information Delta. Information Delta. Okay. Should be coming in range with San Juan Center. 118.150. Six hundred, seventeen hundred, and then start the descent. Jeffrey four sixty four leaving my airspace, Miami tender is offline, raise up some minutes, can be changed the proof one to two doesn't wait too. Five tons of fuel. By the time we reach the uh, destination, it will be 4.0 tons. So that's one ton less. That makes a huge difference. 46.2.8. 138. Ref speed here, minimums here, Q and H to be set to one zero one eight. Let's have a look at the charts once more. Uh, descent 
left angle 3.0 degrees it's not matching with my FMC descent angle Let me know if one can input the glide path, required glide path. I don't know how to do that. If anyone knows how to do that, let me know in the comments. Let's just skip to the top of descent. Let's set up the fixed rings for situational awareness, runway one zero. Ten nautical miles, four nautical miles. Legs checked, navrat set, course set, arrival barrel set up, done. Minimum set, approach reference check, auto brake, three. Descent checklist call. Well, there's still some time. Let's see how it goes. So if everything goes smoothly and we land, we can most probably turn around at this point and backtrack and most probably we'll either be asked to enter the apron and from via taxiway echo or via taxiway delta. And parking stands we have C1, 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 gates A1, A2, A3, A4, so we have Delta, Charlie, Bravo, helicopter traffic, Let's see if San Juan Center is still online and contact the controller. Okay, we are KLM 117, so it's 
Tucson One Center. Good evening, KLM One One Seven. Checking in. KLM One One Seven. You're still above uh, Guadalupe. I, I don't control the area. I'll, I'll give you a contact. Roger that. KLM One One Seven. So we're still outside the airspace. So let's see. We have a tailwind. No, we have a tailwind at, for the approach. No. Yes. Eleven knots tailwind. So let's just get on with it. I'll descend at 20 nautical miles. Forecast and fixed and Have the QNA changed? Southwest 12, 27 contacts, San Juan approach on 119.4. Have a good night. How do San Juan approach? Uh, it's southwest 12, 27. See, I'm gone. Let's set the initial descent altitude. Most probably the ATC would want me to descend to 1500 feet depending upon the traffic. That's set.
at the top of the sand. Ladies and gentlemen, we are descending. We have started our descent. From 30,000 feet to 15,000 feet. Bank can go to 30. Good evening, uh, San Juan Center, KLM 117, descending to flight 22626. We are 15 nautical miles from Bay Point Ilogo. KLM 117, San Juan Center, good evening, Squawk 5416. Squawk 5416, KLM 117. KLM 117, radio contact, one zero miles southeast of Ilopo at uh, 17,000. This I maintain 4,000 clear direct Juliana Airport. Descend and maintain 4,000 feet, KLM 117. KLM 117, information Delta is current uh, for Juliana Airport. Let me know when you have Delta, expect visual from a one zero approach. Uh, we have received information, it is information delta, and uh, we are descending to 4,000 feet. Okay. Whatever the ATC controller says. Trust. American 593, leaving my airspace at Miami Oceana case offline. Race of is terminated. Chase for advisory frequency is approved. Have a good night. Hey, Unicorn for American 593. Thanks for the ATC. Uh, see you next time. See you next time. Thanks. Okay. Which island is that?
should decelerate now. We're approaching 10,000 feet, uh, 11,000 feet. It's not far. KLM 117, descend, maintain 2,600. Descend and maintain 2,600, KLM 117. Recall checked. Seat belt sign on. Landing lights on. And extend these ones. Turn up lights on. What else? Fuel checked. We almost have reserve fuel. Almost. Bank angle 25 to 30 degrees. Uh, yeah. Does it need require any drag, any assistance? No, not yet. I think I'll have to do level change, but then it won't be VNAP. We have a tailwind. Reserve fuel is 3.3 tons, so <laughs> pretty close. 57 minutes since we took off. Let's just start the recording because I think it's going to get a bit hectic for me, and I'll forget to record the. KLM 117, airport is at your 1 to 2 o'clock, 8 miles, caution, uh, 1 3 miles, report airport inside. Uh, could you repeat that again, KLM 117? KLM 117, airport is at your 1 to 2 o'clock, 1 3 miles, report, at, uh, report the airport inside. Uh, we have some cloud cover with, uh, obstructing our view for the airport, but uh, we can see it on the ND that it's. Uh, at uh, 2 o'clock and pretty close. Okay, Roger, uh, just let me know when you have it inside maintaining the present heading. Roger that. Walker 1039, San Juan Center. Roger. Uh, Walker 1039, San Juan Center. Good evening, Squawk 4457. I'm going to speed it a bit. And brakes can come out. Tumbo 1039, uh, radar contact 27 miles northwest of Kauto, level 350. Uh, 
is that the one? Let's have a landing calculation here. I forgot to do this and landing on route. Uh, so VRF is one fifty. Uh, why is it one fifty? Why should it be one fifty? I want flaps 40. KLM 117, turn right heading 0. Question, turn right heading 360. Turn right 360, KLM 117. Heading. And KLM 117, airport is at your now 1 to 2 o'clock, 1 1 miles. Roger that, airport at 2 o'clock, 1 1 miles. Flaps one up speed there seems to be some cloud cover. Let's do the approach checklist. Bank angle 30. Okay, transition altitude set. Approach checklist call. Okay, thousand to go to 2600. Flaps as required. Flaps one. I'll do flaps five now. Flaps five and 180. can go in. Awaki and what was it? What was the next weapon? Lessor. Oh yeah. 1700 feet. One one seven turn left, uh, heading uh, two seven zero vector back. Two seven zero, KLM one one seven. KLM one one seven, descend maintain two thousand. Uh, descend and maintain two thousand, KLM one one seven. So one two thousand five, two thousand five. He says two thousand five, two thousand. Walker 1039, descent pilot's question, cross Bino at the maintain 111,000, descent 1, altimeter 3003. Three. Okay, pilot's discretion, then Bino uh, and uh, maintain 1,000. Select. Select. KLM 
Delta 117, uh, Rafa heading 280. Uh, could you repeat that again? Delta 117, Rafa heading 280, 280. Uh, we are at 112. Yeah, I assigned you heading 280, you knew you read back, so I saw you were turning right. Uh, should we turn uh, right to 280? Okay, at KLM 117, do you have the airport in sight? Roger that, the island and airport in sight, KLM 117. Okay, KLM 117, clear visual runway 10 approach. Clear visual runway 10 approach. <laughs> Let's go down to 700. We now. Landing gear down. Flap 15. KLM 117, wind 0610, runway 10, you're clear to land. Clear to land, KLM 117. Do we need to drag? No, speed rate off. And go direct to flaps 40. Let's put on the airport chart now. We need that once we're on the ground. And match the throttle setting. Overcast. Zero nine six. Thousand feet, Mr. Approach altitude. All right, visual approach. Engine starts. One thousand. Which is continuous, clear to land. Clear to land. There we go. We are a bit off the center line. Why? Approaching minimums. Yeah, disconnect. Minimums. And flight director is off. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Come on. Five hundred. Pitch. Maintain the thrust slightly more. Too low. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Okay. Ten. Versus Center Walker ten thirty nine. Walker ten thirty nine ten one three. Yeah, I just want to verify because uh, my flight plan and what I have uh, in the box is a little different. Did you want me descending via the Bino three or just yeah yeah to Bino? Walker ten thirty nine. I expect uh, Bino and then direct San Juan Airport. Okay, watch that. Walker 1039. And Walker 1039, and uh, if you want ILS, next controller can uh, factor you for the uh, ILS 10. Okay, watch that. Walker 1039. KLM 117, backtracking runway 10. KLM 117, welcome to Juliana Airport, backtrack 10, right. Uh, when able, taxi to a ram, you have a good uh, good day. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thanks, Frank.
and we can retract the flaps took us one hour ten minutes exactly as it was in the same brief flight plan clocks off probe heat switches can go Landing lights can come off, no, off, off, off. Come on. Sun 1 Center, KLM 117, vacated runway 10. KLM 117, Roger, thank you. We're not going to go here because there's a slight pole. We're going to take the next one to the right. We're going to take, let's take another gate. Now, APU can come on. Taxi. Let's go here, the last one. There we go, there we go, there we go. Taxi lights can come off now. Sorry. Oh. Oops, oops. Oops, 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 oops. Yeah, here we have him. We have a marshaller. Parking brake set, and I did not reduce all of my flaps. Should have done that. And welcome to Princess Juliana, and I hope you enjoyed the flight. Let me shut down the aircraft. I'll do the replays later because I want to follow the correct procedures for. Let's me get the APU generators on. Str 
Shobhan steady to steady when you vacate the runway. Engines should be dead by now. One, two. AP bleed on. Right. I S set to 100. Position lights on. Engine star switch is off. Landing lights off. Taxi. Uh, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> We're already at the gate. AP is on. AP bleed is on. Taxi lights are off. Right. AP generator on. Parking checklist. Okay. Parking brake should be on. Parking brake should be on. Okay. Um, seat belt signs can go off, but before that, let me connect the jetway. Mm -hmm. Let me connect the jetway. FS actions. <sighs> jetway, and then request release jetway. Chalks, ground power. Set. Rest, rest. And the door isn't open. How rude. left entry should open right and seat belt signs off and smoking sign off isolation valve auto sorry open transponder to standby should have been alt off already Transponder standby, set squawk to 2000. Hawaiian 515, San Juan Center. And when N1 is less than 20, N2 is less than 20%, which it is, uh, let me see, should be. <laughs> we can switch off the anti-collision lights right AP off and fuel pumps all fuel pumps go off except for this one uh, window heat off let's connect the ground power AP bleed can go off AP can go off hydraulic pumps off Ground power request, stairs or jetway, done, loaders and carts. Okay, loaders and carts. FS actions, ground power, loaders and carts. Request, fuel truck now. Forward loader and aft cart. No, sorry. <laughs> Forward carts, whatever. Right, um, when ground power available should be on, it's on, and what's next on the parking checklist, APU off, it's off, all fuel pumps to be turned off, shutdown checklist call, okay, shutdown checklist, fuel pumps off, probe heat off, hydraulic pan panel set, flaps up, are they up? They're up. Fully up. And let me just turn off my recording. Should have turned off before. Sh and flaps up, parking brake set, engine start levers cut off, weather radar off. 
terrain radar off. And airport off. Right, emergency exit lights switch off. Left and right back switch off. IRS is to off. And secure checklist call. Secure checklist. IRS is off. Emergency exit lights off. Window heat off. Hawaiian 515. Let me disconnect from the VATSIM network. Mm, disconnect. Packs off, window heat off. Okay. When EGT closes to zero, ground power off, then battery off. Uh, it's going to take a long time, so ground power off. And battery off. So that was an almost full flight to Princess Juliana and now for the replays I hope you enjoyed the flight if you did please leave a like and if, if you want to leave some comments or thoughts do them do so in the comment section below the video and uh, if you want you can subscribe to the channel free of cost and see you later. Bye-bye. Take care.